Blessed is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, comfort of the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere and fills all things. Treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over your adversaries, and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace, an invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, they atoke us. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father. Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial in life, giving an undivided trinity always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O oh Lord, why does so many taught me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O oh Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your errors have poured into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh, there is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me, they have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I have stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth. As a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumble. As for me, I am ready to be scourged. My pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. 
like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are to yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled us with choices fair and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find a light. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth, and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, and in the shelter of your wings I will find a light. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, and your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled in distress. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, may all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers and his his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not in the judgment with your servants, since all of the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life into the ground, he has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old, I meditated on all your deeds, I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Priest, with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> On his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son and the Holy Spirit, <laughs> as a priest according to the law of God you offered up, all burnt offerings, and they were most acceptable to him, dressed in the vestments of the priesthood of Zacharias, and you became a light, and you beheld mysteries, and clearly you display the signs and symbols of grace within yourself and you were assassinated by the sword in the temple of God. O all-wise prophet of Christ, the Savior joined the forerunner in praying that our souls be saved. Both now and ever, and to the ages of the ages, amen. O Theotokos, through you became manifest on, to us on earth the mystery 
which was hid from eternity and which the angels themselves knew not, that God uniting natures without confusion became, becomes a man and accepts crucifixion for our salvation voluntarily. By virtue of this resurrecting man, whom he had first created, he saved our souls from death. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit, an angel standing at the sepulcher cried out and said to the ointment bearing women, the ointments are appropriate for mortal man, but Christ has been shown to be a stranger to decay, so go and cry aloud, the Lord has risen and granted the world his great mercy. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. All surpassing every thought, all surpassing glorious, O Theotokos, O your mysteries. For while bearing the seal of purity and pre preserved in virginity, you were deemed a mother in truth, for to the true God you gave birth. To him pray fervently, entreating him to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the host of your disciples, and the ointment-bearing women are with one accord exalting. <clears throat> Together with them we celebrate a common feast to glorify and honor your resurrection. And through them, O Lord, full of humanity, bestow on your people the great mercy. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. You are supremely blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who from you became incarnate, was Hades taken prisoner, and Adam has been summoned back. The curse has been neutralized, and Eve has been liberated. Death has been put to death, and we have been brought to life. Therefore, extolling, we cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. Glory to you.
are you, O Lord? Teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourself the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulcher. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women it were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. <laughs> To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and ever and to the <coughs> ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered <coughs> joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. After the Passion, O Christ God, the women went to the tomb to anoint your body, and they saw angels in the sepulcher, and they were amazed, for they heard them saying that the Lord has risen and granted the world the great mercy. Have mercy, O oh my Christ, on us who hourly commit sins against you manifoldly, and give us means before the end to turn to you in repentance. <laughs> If the Lord were not among us, who would be sufficient to preserve himself uninjured? 
from the enemy and murderer of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Never and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is life, source, and on earth, being as he is God in the Father, through the Son, he strengthens and sustains every creature. They whose confidence is is in the Lord are, are like the holy mountain. They are in no way shaken by the assaults of Belial. And I know me as he has taught me not the son if it is on this. Who are our Christos in love, the glory of Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit does, in addition, all wisdom also issue. Whence is grace to the apostles and the martyrs for their contest receive the crowns, and the prophets are seers. Awaken, O Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the people shall surround you. Awaken, O Lord my God, in the ordinance you commanded, so the congregation of the people shall surround you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You rose from the tomb, O Savior, all-powerful. And Hades beheld the marvel and was struck with fear. And the dead were rising up. And creation beholds and rejoices with you. And Adam is also exultant, O my Savior. And the world ever sings your praise. And the world ever sings your praise. You are the light of those in darkness. You are the resurrection of all and the life of mortals. And with yourself you resurrected everyone, O Savior, despoiling the dominion of death and smashing the gates of Hades, O Word. The mortals beholding the miracle marvel and all creation rejoices in your resurrection, O lover of mankind. Therefore we all glorify and extol your condescension, O my Savior, and the world ever sings your praise. And the world ever give you praise. On the fifth of this month, we commemorate Zacharias the prophet, father of the forerunner. For the divine lamb of God's sake, Zacharias is slain like a lamb in the midst of the temple. On the fifth, Zacharias lieth slain on the temple's floor. On this day, Saint Abdeus of Persia, having been beaten with thorny rods, was perfected in martyrdom. Martyr Abdeus, the thorns of rods endureth. The master who was crowned with thorns for to no honor, uh, for to honor. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs, Medimnus, Urban, Theodore, and the 80 priests and Levites, that is the deacons with them, who were put on a ship by the Arians and burned at sea. Passing through fire and water, as saith the psalmist, Medimnus said, I shall come under refreshment. Great Theodore also, together with Urban, 
the self-same conflict as Medimnus do finish. Fourscore men who from the Lord had consecration with, patient and with patience endured patiently fire and water. On this day, we commemorate the appearance of the Holy Apostle Peter to the Emperor Justinian in Athira. Greatly are we bound to honor thee, O Peter, for that, for that thou hast greatly honored Christ the Master. On this day, we commemorate the blessed Prince Gleb, the Passion Bearer, who in holy baptism was renamed David. On this day, we commemorate the holy higher martyr Athanasius of Brest. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Typifying the mystery, for it parted, and thus was the priest selected. Now in the church that was barren, once the cross of Christ, like a tree, has blossomed forth as a power and a firm support. I have heard the report, O Lord of your incarnation, which it is a mystery. I, can, I consider your astounding works, and I glorify your divinity. O tris macaris toxino, no et api Christos, o vasilas getirios, iu pepto Apatisas, go and see the leastis, the auto prospagel, this arti, go parejo, di, 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 I palamas ionas stavroidos di epetasas to sotirion pathos prodeia tipus apos o centrimeros existin hiper cosmion nanastasin hiper zografis etus arki prospaiendos Christu tu teu que trimeron eiesit un cosmo fotisandos. The impious tyrant's preposterous decree disturbed the populace, breathing threats and blasphemies, pronou blasphemous pronouncements hateful to God. His brutal anger did not intimidate the three servants, nor did the consuming fire. But when the dew-laden breeze whistled against the fire, they joined it and together sang, Blessed are you, O Lord. You are highly praised, O God, the God of our fathers. The new man of the woman ke proskinuman to kirihu, of the yike pebes, tis triados is Υπότιτλοι AUTHORWAVE 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus revealed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. And when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you are young, you girded yourself and walked where you would. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish to go. This he said to show by what death he was to glorify God. And after this, he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved, who had lain close to his breast at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die. But Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die, but... If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross of Christ we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. showed me the unknown and 
secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it you will not be pleased with whole burnt offering. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, at the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal <laughs> life and great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and for honor John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers, among the saints, the great Horex, the ecumenical teachers, Basil the great, Gregory the theologian, and John Christom, 
Athanasius Erlen John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimithus, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the holy glorious great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mirobled, Theodore the Tyrannian, Theodore the General, Menas the wonder worker, the Hieromartyrs, Haralambos and Eleftherios, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the glorious great martyr, Lord of Lufemia, the holy and glorious martyrs, Tecla Varvara, Anastasia, Katerini, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irini, of our holy God bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of Life. <laughs> For he has regarded the lowly state of his merit made servant, who behold henceforth all generations will call me blessed. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave her to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you who do be magnified. <speaking in Hebrew> shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts you are honored more than the cherubim and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim you without corruption gave her to god the logos you are the theotokos you do we magnify He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. You are honored more than the cherubim, and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. <speaking in Hebrew> Yeah.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Of heaven, praise you and give you glory to the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen.
to fulfill among them the written judgment, this glory have all his holy ones. Every breath and all creation glorifies you, O Lord, for by means of the cross you render death powerless, so that you might show the peoples your resurrection from the dead as the only one who loves humanity. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Rejoice, O peoples, and be exultant. An angel sat on the stone of the tomb, and he announced to us the good news and said, Christ has risen from the dead as the Savior of the world. And he has filled the universe with sweet fragrance. Rejoice, O peoples, and be him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. An angel before your conception, O Lord, convey the salutation, rejoice to the maiden full of grace. And an angel at your resurrection rolled away the stone of your glorious sepulcher. The one instead of sorrow was disclosing tokens of gladness. The other instead of death proclaimed to us the master and giver of life. Therefore we cry aloud unto you, the benefactor of all. O Lord, glory to you. <laughs> symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord, let nations and peoples praise Christ our God, who voluntarily for us endured the cross and spent three days in Hades. And let them ad and let them adore his resurrection from the dead, through which all the ends of the world have been illumined. 
Ridite acolo, naste de Cirioteosu, ipsate toi Iesu e Pilate, ton veniton soi stelos, esta vrotis et apis Christe o Teos, o simulitis, esile sa sotanaton, o Teos e despotis, Thanks you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things, truly unlawful ones, by, by securing the stone with a seal. You have made us worthy of a greater miracle. The soldiers who were guarding are aware of Today as he has emerged from the sepulchre, and they said to them, Tell the disciple, tell people his disciples came and stole him while we were asleep. But who would seal a dead man and a naked one at that? But this one has risen by his own authority as God. Moreover, leaving the grave close behind in the tomb. Come and see it, O Judeans, how he did not rupture the seals. For he is the one who trampled death and is bestowing on the human race the life that never ends. And the great mercy
and we have been brought to light. <coughs> Therefore, extolling, we cry out, O Christ our God, you are blessed, for so was your good pleasure. And in the post, locks are in the chest, is there all? Happy in Sirene, and I'm tropic, I'm not Supplications of the Holy Glorious Prophet and Foreigner John the Baptist, the Holy Glorious Apostles, the Holy Godright Fathers, the Holy Victorious Martyrs, and the Holy Righteous and the Holy the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, and the Holy Martyrs, and the Glory to God in the highest and the earth, peace the Lord, and the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, the 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 Lord, God, remember your priesthood and his kingdom always known ever to the ages of ages. Amen.